so I'm home. I have no idea what time it is. I'm so tired. So, I wanted to tell you a little bit about my show. I wish so much I could have taken some video of that show. The last of my beautiful stuff is gone. Yep. So what happened? I did about a third of what I had hoped and prayed for. What are you going to do? I just took a shower so my hair is sticking out everywhere. It was like being sandblasted. It's the one thing I hate about the shows is uh, how dirty they are. The you know the outside shows and everybody's driving on the grass and it makes like a road and Florida sand is gritty and powdery and it goes into the air. It's just big hoofs of dust. I don't ever want to go back ever, ever again. So what happened? So we got there that night and I took a couple of pictures, you know, set up and all that and um, we just didn't have time to unload stuff. So I got up early on Friday and I just started putting stuff out, putting stuff out. And I did a pretty good job. And there probably were six boxes I never got open. And uh, it was slow. Again, it was slow. And this was a November show, you know. And I don't know. I'm always a day late and a dollar short. It just seems to be the way it is. You know, last November was the show and I missed it. I would have sold out then and I would have never had to do this again, you know. So I had to do it a second time. And, you know, it's $1,300 because it was 300 for the spots. It was <sighs> phenomenal for the truck. The truck is going to cost me with gas three four five six hundred dollars there's nine hundred and then I needed groceries for the show and that's a thousand and I took the kids out to dinner that's eleven hundred so somewhere around eleven hundred to do this show and if I made three thousand, I'm gonna be surprised. So I might have two thousand in pocket again, second time. So the first time was January. Did the January instead of the November before, and uh, I'm just grateful it's it's gone. All the papers gone. What happened? I'll tell you. So it was selling, and it was selling really good, but it was selling for nothing, nothing. At the end, I put out a couple tables of just dollar stuff. I'm like, what am I going to do? I have to box all this. It's going to rain tomorrow, tomorrow being Sunday. It's Saturday night when I'm speaking to you. And uh, You know, one of the viewers, um, one of the subscribers said, you know, I guess maybe you can do shows if you can do it. No, I can't. Mm -mm. It took Mike and Maggie to unload that truck. I mean, I help a little bit, but I got to keep sitting down. I got to keep sitting down because my sacrum is so sore and I'm dragging this right leg along because um, it's messed up and it needs to be worked on. So, you know, I'm dragging my sorry butt around. What an embarrassment. By the time I got to McDonald's tonight, because I was starving, I get to McDonald's and I'm like dragging my leg behind me. <laughs> what a sight. I can't get this to stand up straight. Maybe I'll try adjusting it. This is me all over, isn't it? Ta-da! I get a clock growing out of my head. So, I don't know. I don't have any answers. So, I, I'm starting home, right? Oh, I didn't finish my story. Uh, back up. 
So I'm looking at, and then Mike calls me, right? While I'm contemplating what am I going to do, I need, you know, to pack this up and start putting it in the truck because I don't want to be there to try to do everything in the mud and have the tents leaking onto the paper. I'm like, this isn't, this isn't going to happen. So Mike calls me and he says, uh, he didn't tell me the real reason. Thank God he didn't try to come back and get me. <laughs> what a freaking disaster that would have been. I'll tell you about that in a minute. What Mike does tell me is he says, Mom, I got promos Monday through Wednesday, and I really need them. Can you try to find someone to help you pack the truck up? My heart sank. My stomach sank. I was like, oh, God, what am I going to do? And I'm like, God, you have to help me. I mean, I'd been praying before I even got there. I was like talking to Dennis and talking to my ancestors and talking to angels and, of course, talking to God. But sometimes I feel like God doesn't hear me. But this time he heard me. I said, I can't do this. I could work all Saturday night long. And I don't know if I'd have this done by morning. That's how slow I am. So... I went to the guy behind me, nice guy. He has a young son, 14. I said, you guys leaving tonight? Yeah, we're, it's, it's supposed to rain tomorrow. I said, yeah, I know. I said, I'm in trouble. I would like to know if I could hire your son to help me break this down and get it in my truck. What are you gonna do with all the stuff? I said guess I'm going to start boxing it. He says, well, why don't you just sell it to me? I said, well, come on over and let's talk about it. So I'm looking at it and I start going underneath the tables and I drag out all the boxes of stuff I never even got to look at. I don't know what was in there. Chances are it wasn't anything spectacular anyway. So he, uh, he says, give me a price for all of it. I said, without uh, the, the um, I had one box of um, books that were first edition. I said, it's going to be without this box because I knew that box was worth about $1,000 right there if I can find the right buyer, not these chintzy dealers who just want all the money for themselves. And uh, they just don't pay. Or maybe what they're saying is true. I can't, you know, I can't take a risk of not getting my money back. So I, you know, I get that. I do. I would never go back into this business in a million years. No, not that business. Uh -uh. Antiques it just isn't worth it to me. So, um, it's just, they're just not. One woman said some things have gone way through the roof in antiques and other things have just collapsed. And I'm like, yeah. I know I don't have any of this stuff that, you know, has gone through the roof. So, um, I said $2,000. And so he looks around and he says, okay, how about without the tchotchkes and the dollhouse furniture? I said, you tell me, what do you want to pay for the paper? Here's all the boxes. You look through it, look it over. Tell me what you want to do. And he said, a thousand. And I said, yeah, I'll take it. And he said, you know, you're, my son will, and I will help you load the truck. I says, I'm not asking anyone to work for me for free. I'll, I'll pay your son 20 an hour. And so him being a dealer said, well, we'll, we'll trade for jewelry because I had a little bit of silver with me. And I said, sure, yeah, I'll do that. And so he picked some things out he wanted, and he paid me 30 for that in addition to the 1000 And then he picked out $40 worth of jewelry. And then the young man, I wanted him to have some cash in his pocket. And I had this pile of empty boxes and bags. And I said, hey, um, I'll give you another 20 if you haul that up to the barrels for me. I'll do it for free. I said, no, you won't do it for free. And I gave him another 20 and. Um, because I know it'll come back to me. And you know what? Even if it never comes back to me, I, I just know how hard I work and how hard he worked. And 
oh my god he, he broke down all the tables and they're freaking heavy okay and he put them in and he took down the tents and put those in and all of my boxes and my bed and my tent and chairs and you know everything that you have for a show and uh and they were they were plastic shelves and they're heavy you know and so oh bless his heart i i hope god blesses james with uh prosperity in those boxes you know i i'm sorry that my videotaping is really really bad but um so hey i got some stuff in the mail and i thought we could see what I got together. I won't know exactly how much I made in the show yet because I haven't counted yet. I sent Maggie home with some cash because I'm like, she, she, they had left. Um, Friday, they had left in the afternoon and she came back down the hill. Oh, Mom, I forgot Finn's food. And I said, I'm so glad you're here. I want to give you the majority of the cash I made today because I was afraid. A woman alone in the tent. Nothing's ever happened at a show. Actually, I take that back. There was this uh, beautiful, beautiful woman who sold Southwest jewelry. Gorgeous woman, you know. And uh, at Metrolina, where was Metrolina? Somewhere in the Carolinas, I can't remember. And at the Metrolina, um, when everybody had left, when they were breaking down, she had a big, big setup of um, Southwestern jewelry. Two guys came and uh, at gunpoint and robbed her. Um, took all her money, and I can't remember if they took all her jewelry, too. I, I don't remember, but it was very traumatic, and that was the end of the shows for her, you know. And so, yeah, it can't happen, and... Uh, I was always scared when Dennis and I were working. So I bought pajamas finally, all cotton. I got this set. I love whimsies. They all have some sort of saying on the front. What does this one say? Living the life or something like that. And it's got cute little clouds and moons. And then I got this one. I absolutely love the little cacti. And a shirt that says something on the front. You'll be seeing them as I wear them because I wear my pajamas in the morning a lot when I do. Um, and, oh, I got two of the, this set. It's really hard to find my um, cotton pajamas. Wait a minute. I ordered six pair. Why do I only have three? Well, that was weird. Don't you think that was weird? I ordered six. I don't know. I'm going to have to um, see if they left me a message. I got something from Amazon. I don't know what. If it's personal, I won't show you. I don't think it's... I don't... I don't even know what I ordered. I know I needed the pajamas desperately. I mean, look at my pajamas. They're, they've stretched all the hell. I've had these for four years. And uh, I wear them till they're threadbare. Hey... You know the old adage, wear it out, use it up. No. I knew that one. Use it up, wear it out, make it do, do without. That's the Yankee saying. Use it up, wear it out, make it do, do without. Yeah. So what's in here? the rest of my pajamas. Just Love, I guess, is the name of the brand. I don't know what this says, but these are the bottoms. The little hearts and kissy mouths. Is that what they are? No, it's a little sleeping mask and little hearts. And then the top is gray. Some of these are um, t-shirt. Some of them are not. I got two of them. I guess I got two of them. I mustn't have liked the other ones. So, that's only five. One, two, three, four. I could have sworn I got six. 
One, two, three, four, five. I'll have to look back on my order tomorrow. So that's what I got in the mail. Pajamas. Yay! I love pajamas. So Michael's car broke down again. He was having trouble with the harmonic balancer. Harmonic. Harmonia. Harmonica. I don't know. Some sort of balancer. And it has something to do with the belt. He drove us all the way to Renninger's and he did some buying while he was there. And then um, he buys silver jewelry and sells it online. And then he came home and he went working tonight, Uber driving, and the belt broke. So now he's stranded in Tampa and I said to him, let's compare the prices if I take the U-Haul truck it's a dollar a mile and it would be like $75 for me to go get them and come back with a truck and I said find out what Uber wants and Uber wanted about I don't know 68 and I said it makes no sense to take the truck I said I'll pay for it you just get the Uber home and then I said if we have to because he doesn't have AAA and he should but the way that car breaks down, he'd use it up in a couple of weeks. And um, I said, we'll throw a dolly, a car dolly, on the back of the U-Haul truck that I'm renting. And yeah, it's going to be expensive. I'm going to have to go there and um, we'll pick the car up and then and pull it back here to the house where he can work on it. Bless his heart. But he... Instead, he, because uh, he was in an auto zone parking lot, I said, stay there and ask him, can you just leave the car? You know, and instead he took the car and he started driving it again, but at least he ended up in another parking lot and they said, yeah, it's okay for you to leave the car overnight. So, um, look, I'm going to help my kids. He's broke and he needs to get his car back on the road. So, we're going to do that. Because he's got a family to take care of, you know, and, uh, you know, God was really good to me. That guy, not only did he buy all my paper, he packed it all up himself. I didn't have to do all that. It was hard enough, believe me, just to do the boxes I had. And what I have left, I'm going to yard sale out. I'm just so done with this. Um... I've thought about, like, you know, I have some jewelry left and rocks. I have a lot of rocks. Um, what do I mean by that? Um, there's all kinds of stones and rocks that my husband bought from a jewelry maker years ago. Uh, the guy had the tumbler and everything. Dennis sold the tumbler to another dealer or something at the time, I think. And um, wish we had the tumbler because the kids had to buy this is their second tumbler they're on you know and um so I've got a lot of raw stone gemstone kind of rock pieces it's very odd and unusual someday when I'm over there I'll show them to you they're in storage and um I have to contend with that and the other thing I want to do is start attacking all my personal stuff. Because I couldn't believe how much personal goods I still have. I, I've got to get rid of it. i got to let go. It's hard to let go, but um, I think it's the right thing to do. Because they just put my storage up to 101 a month from 86 it was. And they're just going to keep going up, you know, every four months. So, um, yeah. I don't have a home. I don't have a place to keep it. Their garage is full of crap. So I'm just going to have to let go. And it's sad because I got so many photos. I got to figure this out. I don't want to keep paying for storage. But the good news is, is nothing from this show is going back into that storage bin. Yay. I said there's no way it's coming home with me. And I was right. Well, I mean, there's some boxes in there. And then there's a bunch of empty totes. And I have to figure out where do those go. Probably just donate them somewhere if Maggie doesn't need them. 
and maybe we'll plant stuff in them. Well, that's really all I've got to say. I'm in a lot of pain and I'm tired. And, uh, cause you know, I was trying to help as much as I could with the young man and, and I did have to, you know, wrap and box up my own stuff. And, uh, you know, I, I go around the tables and drag everything underneath that belonged to me and just leave the paper for him. And, uh, so I hope I told the story correctly. I'm very, very tired. I took a flexible because I'm, I'm hurting. That's my story and I'm sticking to it. Love you all. Thank you so much for praying for me. Uh, you know, I was rescued out of the clear blue from a disastrous situation and uh it all worked out i'm really really grateful to god to james and cyrus and uh all the people who bought from me i'm very grateful and that's it bye <laughs>